Hello and uh, welcome. This is our from Open Source and Z Panel community. Don't forget to subscribe and share my video and follow me on Twitter and Blogger. Today I am going to introduce you futurehosting.com where you can get VPS, dedicated server, edge class content delivery network. To know more, please view my part one of the series. Okay, let's start. Once you got your email confirmation with all the details on how to get started, you will find on how to access your cPanel and the WHM Web Host Manager. Redirect your browser to the IP of cPanel and WHM allocated to you. You will have the same IP with two different ports, one for cPanel and one for WHM. Once logged in, WHM with your credential provider, you will see the user agreement for cPanel and Web Host Manager. You can browse the documentation release notes if you want by clicking on the top left. Do not forget to have a look the user license agreement. To get started, click on I agree. Then you will see the future showcase where you can make any changes you want to. For these tutorials, I will leave it as it is. For help, just click on more information. Once finished, click Save Settings. Now, you are in the main page of WHM Web Host Manager. As you can see, from the top, this particular VPS is running on CentOS 6.4 and is also running WHM Web Host Manager version 11.36. Before you get started, you might want to have a look around and familiarize with the panel. In your initial email, it asks you to create a new domain account. To do so, click on the Create New Account under the Account Function tab. Here, you can add your details about the main domain you're going to use. From my list of demo domains, I'm going to use AG dash server dot dk for this tutorial then I'll start to input my details starting with the domain then I create a username and a password for this tutorial I will make a simple one as for when this tutorial is going to be published on YouTube the server will not exist anyway then I will add the email as is the first time I log in I will make the new package by checking the selection option manually I will check save manual setting as package and write the name of the package in this case I will use testing server for the manual resource options I will leave as it is but you can make it whatever your needs is. Do not forget you can modify it later if you need to.
in the setting dedicated IP unless you need the IP to run on e-commerce to install an SSL certificate leave as it is unchecked but if you need it you can buy extra IP from future hosting for the rest I will leave as it is language or local leave as English or unless it's a different language you can choose from the drop down menu unless you want to make this domain as a reseller leave it unchecked make the account as a reseller for this tutorial I'm going to leave as it is the DNS also settings I'll leave as it is please have a look to the my other tutorial on how to get started with the DNS once finished just click create once the account has been created the details will will be emailed to you to the email used in the settings in the server configuration and basic cPanel and WHM setup now once everything has been created I'm going to log in to the cPanel with the login details that I have just created in WHM Web Host Manager. Now you got inside your cPanel. And here is the page of the IP provider. Thank you for following me for this small tutorial on how to start up with a future hosting VPS server. To get started, you can email sales. On the contact page you can also follow them on Twitter you can follow them on Facebook as well you can contact them on the online chat that is located on the lower right hand side also from their website you can click on client logins on the top right thank you again and I'll see you for the part 3 where I'm going to explain the Blesk part of it thanks again please subscribe see you next time